So we're here with Don Carson to discuss uh, what retirement means to you. And so tell us a little bit about your career. Okay. How far back do you want to go? Just uh, just a, the, a good summary of, of your career as an engineer. Okay. Uh, well, uh, actually, I was in the Army uh, from 60... One through 63, Corps of Engineers, and then when I left the Army, I came back to Greenville and went to work for Jay Serene, which was an engineering firm here in Greenville. And I uh, worked with Serene, and then Serene was bought out by CRSS, and then CRSS was bought out by Jacobs Engineering. And uh, during that period of time, from 63 uh, through 2013, I was a project manager. So in 2013, when you retired, you were how old? 75. Most people retire in you know, 62, 65, but you just continued to work for what reason? I enjoyed it. And, and, and as you retired, you, they, they asked you to come back and work part-time on the Well, projects. yeah, what happened is uh, probably in 71, somewhere in that area, work got a little slow. And uh, I went to my boss and I said, look, you know, you've got people here that are a lot younger than I am that need to work. Uh, I can always retire. And he said, well, okay. So I did retire and I was retired for about six months. And then we had a client that I had worked for. So uh, the boss called me and asked me if I would come back for four or five months just to head up this project to, to do this estimate. And I said, yeah, okay. And so I did, and I went to, back to work and worked on that for four or five months. And then when that project was over, they had another project that they wanted me to do. So uh, I guess I worked full time for uh, at least another 18 months. And then uh, work slowed down, and I you know, went to them and I said, hey, you know, I can go part time if you want me to. And they said, yeah, okay. So I worked part-time for, I don't know, like five or six months. And then the part-time went from 20 hours a month to 30, I mean, yeah, a week, 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week. And then it got full-time again. And my wife and I talked, and, uh, of course, I was you know, approaching 75. And we both said, hey, you know what, we're not going to live that much longer. So why are, we, why are we still working? We don't need to work. There's plenty of things we can do and enjoy life, so that's when I retire. How do you spend your days in retirement? Busy. Uh, we volunteer. We do work with the church. We have different activities that we do. We do Tai Chi. We do yoga. Uh, we travel. Uh, there's always things to do with the grandkids. They have ball games to go to. And uh, honestly, I think we did more together things when I worked than we do now. It's, it's just it's like you don't have enough time to do everything you, you want to do. So for so many people spend a lot of time preparing for retirement and, and planning for retirement, especially when they get to their mid, mid uh, to late 50s and early 60s, uh, what kind of advice would you give someone in, in, in that age range that is uh, kind of at the cusp of retirement? Well, honestly, I can't imagine retiring at 55. If somebody's going to retire at 55, I hope they've got a lot to do. I mean, I, I hope they have something worthwhile that will keep them busy. I can't imagine retiring and just going home and sitting around the house and reading books and watching television. That just, to me, that just wouldn't get it. Well, I appreciate your time.